hey guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be showing you how to do tortoise shell nail art on natural nails so if you're interested in seeing how to do this then just keep on watching so here I'm showing you what I use to mix the base color for the tortoise shell nails it's kind of like a goldish amber color I did equal parts of orange and yellow and clear and just a dash of the brown and a dash of the gold. This is what it looks like. So my natural nails are all prepped and ready to go. I'm starting with Luxa Polish's base gel. And I don't know if you can tell, but I did damage my pinky nail a little bit. I kind of uh, smacked my last uh, extension on a counter and it kind of ripped my hyponychium so the nail plate is lifted a little bit farther back or a lot further back off the nail bed so i'm going to be on a natural nail journey for a little bit until that kind of grows out but anyway i'm going in with my luxa polish number six brush this is a gel brush so you can use it to apply builder gel or you can use it to apply gel polish as i am doing right now so i'm just going in and applying a thin layer of that base color i mixed and i'm actually going to do two coats of this Alright, so after I've cured that, I'm going in with Luxa Polish's Paint Pot in the shade Bark. It's just a nice rich brown color. And I'm using that same gel brush just to make little splotches of the brown. I'm trying to make them somewhat circular and in an irregular pattern, but I am going to go in and kind of thin them out later so it's not super important that they're perfect or like perfect circles or that they're perfectly opaque in all areas. So I'm stopping at the middle finger and going in with some isopropyl alcohol and just blotting out the edges so the edges aren't so harsh. A lot of times when I'm doing nail art, I like to do two to three nails at a time or even one sometimes if I'm afraid of messing up the art. Um, so I'm going to do these three and then cure and then move on to the last two nails just to ensure that I don't get any fuzzies or smudge what I've already done. And here I am just going back in with the brown gel polish just to kind of put a little bit more back where I took a little bit too much off with the alcohol. Next I'm going in with OPI's black onyx gel polish and basically doing the same thing I did with the brown but just keeping these splotches a little bit smaller and tighter. I specifically used this black because it is a little bit more glossy and not so opaque, so it kind of helps with uh, blending out for this look. So I am just going back to finish up the index finger and the thumb and just doing the exact same process. Now I'm going in with Luxa Polish's Paint Pot in the shade Fortune and my McCart number no. 1 brush. So this is just a shimmery gold and I'm just doing a little cuff design at the cuticle.
I am using Luxa Polish's No Wipe Gel Top Coat. And last step is just moisturizing with a little bit of cuticle oil. And that is it for this video. Let me know what you thought by leaving me a comment down below. You can support me by liking and sharing this video, subscribing to my channel, and following me on Instagram. Make sure to tag me and use my hashtag Bianca Elena Beauty if you recreate the look. Bye guys!